So obviously I left off in a little bit of an emotional state. Um, after I made that little video, I called Skylar and then I called my mom. And I think the biggest takeaway right now is that I always have to have a, a goal and I always have to be chasing something and working towards something. And now that I've kind of been given this time off by my coach, this break, like literally for the next few days, all I have is just to eat food and pack, I'm realizing how hard that is for me. I feel like I have to be at the gym or I have to be staying late at work or something. So this has been a really, really intense journey and I, like I said before, I have struggled a lot through it but I'm so grateful that I did it because I've learned so much about myself and I've also learned a lot of things about myself that I want to change after this. Hey guys, so this is what peak week looks like in the last few days. I am cooking up a storm right now. Fish in there. Just because I gotta stay on point with my diet. I'm not working out anymore and I'm not doing cardio. So now it's all about what I'm eating and when and how much and all that good stuff. So I have all the instructions from my coach and I'm just measuring everything out for work tomorrow and then as well as getting it ready for Friday and show day because on show day I will have some fun meals slipped in which is going to be exciting um, but also I do have a lot of fish and asparagus as well. So. Getting that all organized today because I don't know what else to do with myself. Anyways, see you guys in the next clip. Good morning. Wow, I look rested. I actually did not sleep well last night. I kind of jinxed myself, I guess. It's pouring rain out. This is my last day before my show. I took tomorrow off. I did a ton of cooking last night, so I'm feeling really good. And tonight I'm going to pack up my bag. I have a long list of things to include. But I'm off to finish my last day of work. I have my lunch off, you guys. Like, I don't have to go to the gym today on my lunch. And I'm, I'm one of those people that's pretty prepared, so I don't really have any errands to do. So, I have no idea what I'm going to do for an hour today. I sent my photos to my coach this morning and he says it's time to fill me up, which means I'm eating so much rice today. I'm so excited. Every single meal I have rice. And at first I was like, oh my gosh, this is so much food. Like it's very mentally hard to adjust from very little food to a lot of food, especially when you've been dieting and dieting to get rid of body fat. And then at the last minute now you're eating a bunch and it's like, am I gonna reverse all this like hard work that I've been doing but obviously just trusting the process and I'm just gonna enjoy feeling full and happy and energized today so Thursday hey guys so what I've decided to do on my free lunch hour is walk to the grocery store and the health food store and pick out some regular person food. Um, stuff that I used to eat before I started doing this prep like four months ago. Um, so that I have food at work next week when I come back to work. So I'm gonna get things like some soy creamer for my coffee and I do need to get some protein powder. I plan to go back to supplementing more with protein powder than eating so much actual meat. <laughs> I'm excited to take a break from that. So just getting a few things so that I can look forward to coming back to work next week and back to a more balanced approach to food. I'm literally just wandering around the store overwhelmed because I have no idea what I want but I did get an avocado so far and some 
cream for my coffee next week. So we're getting somewhere. Not sure what else I'm gonna get yet. Well, that didn't take very long. What do people do on their lunch breaks? Honestly, like so much free time right now. So now I'm just gonna walk over to the dollar store because you always find things you need at a dollar store. So that's what I'm gonna do. Waste some time. So I'm finally on my way back to work. I found some Tupperware containers, a hand mirror, and some thank you cards at the dollar store. So successful, I guess, spending money on things I wasn't planning to, but they say you should have a hand mirror backstage in case you need to fix anything on your face. But I'm actually really glad that I chose to keep working because I just don't know what else to do with myself. So, keeping distracted. Ow, my hair. I know this is riveting, riveting footage for you guys, but this is the reality of what uh, is happening. So work is done, officially. And I'm on my way to my massage appointment, which I'm glad I booked weeks ago because I didn't have the best day at work today. So it'll be nice to have that to unwind and relax. And then I have compiled a long checklist of things to pack. So I'm gonna go do that and have all my meals prepared. So I'm feeling nervous, but excited, but tired, but nervous, so. Okay, so I don't know if you can see. This is all the food I've had to pack for tomorrow and Saturday. Those butter containers also contain rice and chicken. I also have started trying to organize my stuff for clothing and all the treats and things I'm supposed to have packed. It's actually been really good because I've been, ever since I got home, I haven't even eaten yet and I was so hungry when I got home. but. I just started cooking and prepping and getting everything ready and it took a lot longer and a lot more work than I thought it would but I have all my meals ready and cooked for tomorrow which is six meals potentially seven um, but I might not have to eat the seventh one depends and then I have all my stuff cooked for Saturday show day plus um, I have like rice cakes and peanut butter and jam and stuff like that that I'm going to eat right before I go on stage so that's all been organized too. So I'm finally just going to sit and eat one of my meals and I still have one more meal to eat tonight um, later on and then uh, bedtime I guess. Doing a little mud mask, doing a little pampering. I have most of my stuff packed now. Looks like it's gonna be a fun couple of days. What? But I'm about to eat some rice and some fish and hopefully go to bed in a little bit. Skylar is working tonight. I'm just aiming to get a good night's sleep. And tomorrow is a new day. Tomorrow is Friday. Peak week will be over because it is my show. That's so crazy, guys. So, see you Friday. Um, woke up this morning at about 6, posted the first part of Peak Week, and I sent my photos to my coach. He said everything is still looking good and to not change anything about the diet that we have already planned for today. I have my tan at 3 p.m. and I've never had a spray tan in my life, so that will be interesting. And fun fact, I shaved my arms last night because it's supposed to make the tan, spray tan, adhere to your skin better so you don't have these weird patterns on your skin from arm hair and body hair, so... That took a long time, guys. My tattoos are popping, though. I've never, like, I haven't seen these bad boys in a while, so. Silver lining. We're just gonna hang out at home this morning for a little bit and head out around 1 p.m. 
to the venue. Hello. So quick recap of the morning so far. I'm still in my pajamas, but I've been a very productive human. Made the bed, cleaned out the closet, organized a drawer in the kitchen, cleaned out our fridge, took out the recycling, took out the garbage, sweeped our apartment, reshaved my entire body, including my arms, again, had Skylar shave my back, exfoliated, ended my hair. And I've gone over my checklist and packed and repacked like 20 times. So now I'm gonna go eat my second meal today and then I think I will run over my little checklist that I made so in case anyone else is prepping for a show, maybe there's some things on there that might help you out. So, food checklist. Okay, so to go over my checklist now that I have eaten some delicious fish and rice and I'm so full of energy, here we go. This is the checklist that I made for myself, but I definitely looked online and looked at other people's videos online and they're all very helpful. Here's mine. So if you want to bring your membership card, make sure you have that either printed off or saved on your phone. It's really important to know what your membership number is for whatever association you're in. Of course, your shoes, your suit, any gear, say if you're associated with a coach or anything like that to represent them. Scissors, tweezers, a shaker bottle, nail file, bringing a lock for my suitcase. I've actually heard some really awesome stories about backstage and how amazing everyone is but also some not so awesome ones where people actually steal your food and stuff like that or even your suit. I really don't think that's going to happen at this show but you know I always lock my locker at the gym and so I'm going to do the same backstage with my suitcase. I'm also packing everything in a rolly suitcase to take backstage, which was recommended to me. Just it's easier to have everything all together. A phone charger, my laptop and charger to keep me busy in the hotel room. Baggy loose clothing, similar to kind of something like this, and drawstring kind of silky pants. I don't have those, but I'm just going to wear drawstring shorts so that after you get your spray tan, you don't have any lines on your body or anything like that flip-flops to wear backstage, a soft hair scrunchie to lift uh, if you have longer hair like mine so you don't get any weird elastic lines in your hair, a robe. My friend Kim, who you've seen in a few videos, she has an amazing online thrift shop and she found me the most badass black robe. Thanks Kim! An umbrella. If you have a spray tan and it's raining or you have your hair and makeup done, you want to have an umbrella. Ziploc bags, cutlery, workout bands for backstage to kind of get that pump up, itinerary for today for what I'm supposed to eat, as well as a detailed itinerary for tomorrow and timeline printed off and packed in my bag. Needle, a thread, and safety pins. ID, of course, my water jug, and my purse because I have been known to forget my purse. And I'm gonna have also a giant bag of food, which I will show you, because I'm about to go pack up, because we're headed out soon. So I cooked everything last night, and labeled everything in Tupperware containers, and you might think that's a little extra, but it's made today so much more relaxing for me. So now I'm just gonna pack it all up. And this will be the last time I have to meal prep for a long time. Thankfully, we're staying at a hotel, first of all, but also that it has a refrigerator in the room. We're just driving there, it's not far, and then put everything in the fridge, so that's awesome. And I also brought a lot of containers that I plan to dispose of and not bring home, which will be easier for everyone. So like I said before, I have all my food written down here, and so I'm just going to follow what is on here so I don't forget, but each meal has been labeled here, and it's been labeled on these containers so that I know I'm not forgetting anything. Along with all of the required meals, the rice and fish and chicken and, and all that that I've packed, I also have to pack um, pump up foods for backstage which include rice cakes, jam, peanut butter and candy bars which I've already packed, so pretty excited. And we're just uh, gonna finish up here and then get on the road. Hey, so we are in the hotel and it's actually really nice. 
we have an amazing view of the water. It's the ocean there. And Skylar's got their DJ stuff with them to just chill. We got all our snacks over there. And I am tanned. As soon as we checked in, I had my first coat of spray tan put on because the tanny people are staying at the hotel too, which is very convenient. I've never had a spray tan in my life. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a modest person. I mean, my friends, we all go to nude beaches and stuff, but I never go nude. I just, it's not something that I feel comfortable doing, but for this, I had no choice. I just had to go for it. So it's all about new experiences and you know, it wasn't so bad. My instructions right now are to rest and nap. So that's what we're gonna do. I crashed hard. And in case you're wondering, with my spray tan situation, I brought my own sheets from home, my own pillowcase. So that's Skylar's side, and this is my side of the bed, so. I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog now here because pretty much for the rest of tonight, I'm just, I'm eating a couple more meals, sending my coach photos. We have an athletes meeting um, just to go over the show, I guess, and they'll give us some information then as well as um, just registration and stuff like that for the show, so not too exciting. We wake up really early, it's gonna be a very long day, but I get to have some really exciting food and just feel, I think, a little bit more human than I have in a long while, and I'm looking forward to that. And of course the show, and it's very surreal because this is obviously something I've never done before, and I have no idea what to expect, but I'm excited my friends and family are going to be there too, so we'll see you in the final episode of the series. Show day.